Hello my gorgeous loves out there and welcome. In today's video, I'm gonna be ranking all of my palettes from Adept Cosmetics. I'm gonna give you all the info and I'll even include swatches because I'm a nice person like that. But before we get into this video, if you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Brie and I'm just a crazy lover of all things beauty. And I like to post a lot of fun, colorful makeup content. I like to do a lot of any makeup. So if that is what you're into, then please hit that subscribe button and join this little family. But with that being said, let's get into this video. <laughs> All right, my loves, I feel like it's been a while since I've done a ranking from just one brand, but I don't feel like I have that many brands where I have a lot of palettes from them. And I think I filmed most of those rankings already because I think I need at minimum eight palettes or more to do a whole dedicated ranking video on a brand. So I finally got to that point with Adept Cosmetics. I have nine of their palettes here. So I just wanted to give you guys all of the info, include those swatches, like I said in the beginning, and just give you like a full in-depth review on all of the palettes while I do this ranking. I think these videos are helpful for those of you who are like new to the brand, wanting to know what palette would be right for you, whether you like neutrals, color, if you like more mattes than shimmers. I'm just gonna give you all the details and go over each palette. Now, I'm gonna start from the bottom to the top. Now, I base my rankings on whether it's a color store I love, the quality, the versatility, how often do I gravitate to it? Like that's all what I base my ranking on. Now don't take it personal if I rank a palette you really love at the bottom or one really high at the top that you hate. This is all just going based on my personal preferences when it comes to makeup. Now before we dive into the ranking, if you're curious about this eye look, I did film it with the Perfect World Collection from Uden's Eye. I have the Planet Spirit palette on. That video is already up, so I will put it up in the corner. I'll link it below in case you're curious on how I put this look together. But anyways, the bottom of the ranking, which I don't think you guys will be surprised, is I talked about this in a recent video where I was ranking my recent and palette purchases and I, I had some issues with this palette but this is the La Cienega palette and this was in their mystery box which kind of was a fail for a lot of people it included this palette in eight liners and a lot of people were upset with that they were hoping they were going to get nine different products so I, I get why people were upset like overall I'm so happy that I picked up the palette and I'll still get use out of these products but I could see the issue that people had, but here it is. It is more of a nudie palette. And I know they went on the nudie vibe to appeal to a wider audience and not make it so colorful so that if people picked up the mystery box, they could find something that worked for them because it does have some color, it has some blue, some like plummy shades, but overall it's a more nudie palette. Now, my issues with this palette is that there's a lot of beige shades, like boom, boom, boom. They're all gonna look the same on the eyes. I don't think that was necessary. I also feel like this is not the most cohesive color story because you have like a lot of blue metallics, but you don't have really any like blue mattes to work with. Like maybe if there was a blue matte or like a light blue instead of some of these like beigey shades, I feel like it would have brought the palette more together. Also, these two shades I've had issues with, PCH and Rodondo Beach. They're very textured, very foiled, and they crease really bad on the lids. And no matter what I do, I cannot get them to work for my lids, whether I use a different primer, whether I use a glitter primer, wet my brush, they're just too thick and too texture for my liking. So I just could not get them to work for me. And I just don't like how they look on the lids. Like, I don't know if I'll ever figure out how to get that to actually look pretty, but those are my issues with this palette. Now, besides that, I do feel like the matte formula is really nice in here. I feel like the other shimmers are really beautiful. I love this Manhattan Beach one. It's so bright and vibrant and shifty. This Santa Monica Boulevard one is really pretty. I love this matte red. Like, I love a lot of the shades in here. I just had issues with some of the shades and then overall the color story I feel could have been perfected a little better. But anyways, that is my thoughts on this one and why it's at the bottom, which is unfortunate. I was, I had high hopes for that palette. Then going on to the next palette, which is gorgeous, it's beautiful, but I don't gravitate to this palette as often and it has shades that I don't tend to wear that often on my eyes, which is the House of L palette. Beautiful, stunning, gorgeous, sparkly shades, but this one has a lot of oranges and I'm not into oranges like that. Like I'll wear oranges every now and then, but I feel like that's the color I gravitate to the least. So there's about like four orangey shades in here, you know, so I have to be in that orangey mood, but I do think the quality is 
excellent these shimmers are beautiful they spread way better on the lids i didn't have any like creasing or chunky issues with these some are shifty multi-chromes like it's gorgeous and the matte formula was really nice in here also i do feel like i can't use this as a standalone palette because i need more depth in my life and overall it's like light to mid-tone like all the mattes are on the lighter side, none of them can really be a deepening shade, so I do have to pull in those darker shades to create completed looks, because overall, the look would be too light for what I like when it comes to makeup. But besides that, gorgeous, excellent. I just see this more as a companion palette, and I have to be in the mood for oranges to really pull for this. That's why it's more on the lower end of the ranking. Now, the next palette, which is a nudie one, but it's gorgeous, and I love it, but I just love a lot of color, so the more colorful palettes are always going to be at the top, but this is really pretty. This is the Amunit New Palette. This is the dark version, of course. I went for the dark version because I like a lot of depth in my looks. Now, this one has more mattes in it than shimmers, and most of their palettes are more shimmer heavy, so this will be great for all of you that like more mattes in your palette than shimmers, and if you like more nudie tones. Now, overall, the shades in here are on the cool tone side, like kind of has some gray base to the shades in here. So if you like cool tones, this is gonna work for you. If you like nudie shades, this is gonna work for you. And if you like mattes, because I do feel like the matte formula is really good in here, pigmented, blendable. The shimmers are beautiful, they're smooth. I didn't have any creasing issues. I really love this one right here, this beautiful green, like kind of like a mossy lighter green. It's so pretty. And you can do completed looks with this. And overall, I think this is really good for the nudie matte lovers. Now going on to a very glam palette, but this is pretty much mostly shimmers and there's two mattes. And these are more like glam nudie shimmers, but it's beautiful, but you know I like color if you watch me for a while. So this is the Minka palette, gorgeous, glam ultimate glam now these shimmers are on the thicker side you're gonna have a little bit of texture you may have a little bit of creasing but dang these shades are so intense so vibrant perfect for like new year's looks event looks now i think these shimmers are easier to work with than those two i mentioned in the la Cienega palette these you can get them to work if you use a good primer use a glitter primer you can make them work on your lids. At least I was able to make it work. I know some people didn't like how thick and textured these shimmers were. So if you don't like thicker shimmers, you might wanna stay away from Adept Cosmetics overall because their shimmers tend to be more flaky, more foiled, and on the creamy textured side. So I'm just gonna warn you guys. But if you're looking for these kind of tones, there are some that are a little on the more smoother side. You just have two mattes to work with though. But I mean, the shimmers, the shimmers though, are really pretty and super glamorous. So I do love this palette. I mean, I love all of these palettes. I can't go wrong with either one of them, but you know, for ranking sakes, I had to put them somewhere. Then the next palette, which I think this one might be discontinued. I think it's the Codain or Codonde palette. I can't remember the right pronunciation for this one, but it was on the more smaller end, but it's so beautiful. Like look at these tones, a little grunge, a little jewel tone. A lot of the shimmers on here in this one is on the smoother end, but I mean, I don't want to rave too much about it because I don't think you can pick this up. If it's linked below, it's there. If it's not, it's because it's been discontinued, but it's so pretty and gorgeous and scrumptious and a little deeper you have only two mattes in here um but i still feel like even with just two mattes i can make completed looks and i think it's really pretty gorgeous shifty goodness and these are just the kind of tones i like i like to lean a little bit more grunge when it comes to my looks and jewel tone shades so this one was a really pretty one i think it's a cute little more compact palette and i adore it i don't know why it's not there anymore now going on to the next palette and i think this one for sure is still available on their website it is the Nihydrin palette really beautiful it is full of like purpley tones some green tones a little bit of pink this one only has two mattes as well like they like their shimmers adept has always been more of a shimmer heavy brand which speaks to my liking because i love a lot of metallics and shimmers and i would choose that any day over a matte but i do like the mattes that they included 
There's this cool tone purple, this grungy brownie shade, which goes really pretty with these more grungy tones. And then this one goes really well with the other like purpley tones in here. But look at these shades. So pretty. I love blues. I love greens. I love purples. I love the formula in here. Like it's so beautiful and foiled and sparkly. The shimmers. These ones too are not as textured as like the ones in the Minka palette, like the ones that I mentioned in the first palette in the ranking, but I love this so much. I would recommend this if you want your shimmers to be a little bit more smooth and creamy and you like these kind of tones. It's, it's absolutely funny. I love this one. Now going on to number three, we're almost to the top of this ranking. This is the Heather Austin palette, the collab with Heather. She is so cool, amazing, she seems really sweet really talented so I was so happy when she came out with this collab and she nailed it with these tones there's a lot of grunge we got some nudie shades as well this burgundy gives me fall vibes I love these greens this one has four mattes instead of just two like most of their palettes and we have some more smoother shimmers but we have some more flaky foiled ones in here I think this is a good balance if you want a little bit of color you want a little bit of nudes you want to have both options in a palette I think this is a good one because you can lean on the nudie side or you can go more on the colorful side you can go a little warm over here and with these and you can get some more cooler tone looks as well so i think this is a very versatile palette i love the different textures i mean all of their palettes have shifting multi-chrome shades a lot going on with their metallic super extra sparkly you can't go wrong with most of their palettes but this one is really good Heather did an amazing job. I gravitate to this all the time. Like I've used this one so many times. Now I'm going on to an OG, the one that fully started my love with Adept Cosmetics. It's not number one, but it is number two, and it will probably always be at the top of the ranking when it comes to Adept Cosmetics, but it's the Plain Jane palette. To me, this is where people really started to notice the brand. When they tried this, this is an all shimmer palette. So this is for my all shimmer girlies, or if you're wanting to add some special shimmers to your collection, like maybe you have mostly mattes or more traditional shimmers and you want something a little bit more extra shifty. And it does have a good option of nudie metallics as well as colorful metallics. You got this bright pink, you got some green, some blue in here, you got some purple pinky tones, and then you have like these nudie shimmers up here too so it's a good balance so you have a lot of options to work with whether you want to do a more nudie look whether you want to do a more colorful look and I think some of the best shimmers are in this palette in terms of formula creamy smooth sparkly shifty gorgeous they're definitely not as chunky like I said in the Minka palette and some of the other palettes these are more smooth and very sparkly so this one is always going to be a favorite of mine i truly fell in love with the brand when i tried this palette and this is why i have so much more now because it started here this is where the love started now number one which is their newest palette and it blew my mind away now i'm very upset i feel attacked because they made this limited edition and i think it's already sold out so you can no longer get it and it makes me sad to rave and talk about a palette that's not available anymore like why why do they do that? Why do brands make the best of the best and make a limited edition? I hate when they do that, but this is the unnamed inspired palette. They say unnamed, but it's to me really called the inspired palette. It's beautiful, it's green, it's got this gold emblem. And then the tones in here, the tones. These metallics are different, I think, from the other palettes, but they said it was a special metallic formula and I can feel the specialness in it. They're very creamy. They're super shifty. They're just stunning. And I had so many greens in here and greens are my favorite colors to wear. So if you're going to have a green heavy palette, I'm going to love it. I just am. And then it has like these beautiful green mattes, the grungy tones, totally the perfect mattes for me. Very pigmented and blendable, but these metallics are next level like they did something special with this formula they're super creamy they're super buttery and extra good and just reflective and smooth i had no issues with creasing i didn't feel like these shades were too textured i mean i think the most textured one is this warren patel one but it's kind of more of a topper so it's like one where if you want to add a little bit more shimmer specs on the lids it does a really good job for that one but overall they're on the smoother creamy just 
intense side and they're just so beautiful in every way and I'm so happy I have this. I'm so happy I got it before it sold out because I absolutely adore this and this instantly became number one. As soon as I tried it, I was like, yep, this is my favorite palette. And then I used it again. I'm like, yep, it's my favorite adapt palette. Like every time I use it, it confirms for me how amazing and how this has to be number one. It's gorgeous. So that was my ranking for this video. I'm sorry that some of these palettes aren't available. I think three of them are not there, but at least six of these palettes you can still pick up. So I'm sorry if I raved and went crazy for palettes that you were interested in that is not there anymore. Because I think they took the House of L one off. They brought it back for a little bit. Like they restocked it many times. And I think that was it, their last restock that they had done recently. And I don't know why they took the Codane or Codande palette away as well as the Inspired palette, but the other six that I mentioned are all still there, all still fabulous, and will get the job done. I really, really loved Adept Cosmetics overall as a brand, and I think they have really beautiful eyeshadows. I think they're very innovative and creative, and I love that they're a shimmer heavy brand. It totally speaks to what I love when it comes to eyeshadows, but you guys will have to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Were you surprised by my ranking? Would you have put these in different places? What are your thoughts on Adept Cosmetics? I would love to hear from all of y'all, and if you're new here and you enjoy this video, you like palette rankings, things on indie makeup, then please hit that subscribe button and join this little family. I'd love to have you here. Also, don't forget to check out the description below. I will have all the palettes that are still available linked. I will link all my adept videos that I have done in case you want to see looks, get some inspiration, see them swatch, get more info about each palette and I will also have my makeup link like I said I did film this so that video will also be linked and I will also have my contact and my social media platforms I'm also on Instagram as Brisee Lysol and Brisee underscore beauty so if you want to join my Instagram fam I would really really love that but guys thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video for being here hanging out with me for a little bit I really really appreciate it and I just hope all of you are doing well wherever you are in the world and I'm just sending you guys so much light and love but until next time bye guys mm -hmm.